In this video, I want to show you how to move Windows 10 apps to another drive and how to change the default apps location for new apps so they get directly installed on the new drive. I will also show you how to move the traditional apps to another drive. Let's start first with modern apps that are installed from the Microsoft Store. But before we begin, please note that core apps like Calculator, for example, cannot be moved. So you can only move an app that you installed manually from the Microsoft Store. For our demo here, I will move a game called Asphalt 9 from the system drive to another drive. To do this, open Settings by clicking on the Start menu, then clicking on Settings and then click on Apps. Under Apps, click on Apps and Features. Find the app you want to move and then click on it. And here's Asphalt 9. So when you click on it, these options appear. You can uninstall it and move it. Of course, here I'm going to choose Move. And under Move here, it says that this app is currently installed on OS Disk C. I want to move it to Disk D. It pre-selected it by default because it's the only disk available other than C. Here you can click on move to move the application. But before I do this, I want to bring to your attention that if the application is open, it will be automatically closed. So make sure that you close it gracefully before you click on move. Here I don't have the application open, so I'm just going to click on move. And here's the moving taking place. Of course, it depends on the speed of the disks and also it depends on the size of the application on how much time the move will take. Here it should be fast because I have SSD disks. Here the application is moved. Once the move finished, if the app was running before moving it, it will reopen automatically. But this is not our case here. Also, you don't have to modify shortcuts because it is done automatically. So let me try launching Asphalt 9 now. And you see that it is launching without modifying the shortcut. Let me close it. To check what applications are running on what drive, you can click here, filter by all drives. You can click the drop down arrow. And then here you can choose the drive you want. All drives is selected by default. If you want to check what do you have installed on disk D, for instance, here, click on it. And you see that Asphalt 9 was moved under Disk D. And of course, if you want to see what is on Disk C, do the same. And all drives, it will show you all the applications. Now, let me show you how to change the default location for new apps. For this, you need to go to the Home of Settings. And then you need to click on System. And then you need to click on Storage. And under More Storage Settings, you need to click on Change where the new content is saved. So click on it. And here we have many options, but now we are talking about apps. So the only option for apps is the first one. It says New Apps will save to. And here you can click the drop down arrow and you can choose also another disk than the default disk. So let me choose disk D here. And then you need to click on Apply and the changes will apply very quickly. So now if I install a new application, so let me go to the store, just to show you as an example. Let me install, for instance, a converter application that is free. And you see it is installed. So let's check now in settings. And then under apps here, let's check now, we just installed, you can sort by install date, which is now, so PDF to Word. It is installed. If we check on Apps Disk, and you see that it is installed on Drive D because we chose this drive as a default installation drive for newly installed apps. Now, I want to show you how to move a traditional application. For traditional applications that are not installed from the Microsoft Store, to move them, you have to uninstall and reinstall them in the new location. This procedure depends on each application. Before we begin, I want to bring to your attention that some applications will lose their settings if uninstalled and some other applications do not run properly if not installed in the default location. 
Also, if you don't have access to the installation program of the application, or if you don't know how to reinstall the application, please do not continue. In short, move a traditional application only if absolutely necessary. There are utilities that can change the default location for newly installed traditional applications, but I do not advise you to play with system-wide settings like the default location of traditional applications, so I will not be using any of these utilities. Also, it is important to create a restore point before you begin, because in case anything goes wrong, you can always revert to the restore point. So let's create a restore point. Go to Settings. Then click on System. Click About. Under Related Settings here, click on System Protection. Under Protection Settings, make sure that Protection is on for all the drives you want to touch. So here we have only two drives. We have the system drive. I'm going to turn it on for the system drive. So select it and then click on Configure. Click on Turn on System Protection. Give it 10% and then click OK. And also because we are touching the drive D, I'm going to click on it. Click on Configure and also turn it on for it and put it at 10% and then click OK. And now you need to create a restore point. So click on Create here. Give it a meaningful name. So here, let's say before moving 7-zip and then click on Create. The restore point will be created. Once you receive the message that the restore point was created successfully, click on Close and click on OK. And now close here this. And let's make sure now that we have the installation program of 7-zip before uninstalling it. So here I have it, I think, under downloads. Yeah, it is here. So we're okay to go. To move 7-zip, head to settings once again. And then open apps. Under apps and features, find the traditional application you want to move. Here it is 7-zip in our case. Click on it and then click on Uninstall. Click Uninstall once again. Click Yes if prompted. And here you see it will tell you that it will uninstall from the C drive. So click Uninstall. And then click on Close when it is uninstalled. Of course, these steps that I showed you, they depend mostly of the application. So here for 7-Zip, it's pretty simple. Now let's reinstall 7-Zip and the drive D. So close this. And this is 7-zip installation program. I just double clicked it, clicked yes. And here you can choose the destination folder. Now it always depends on the application installation program on how you can choose the destination folders. In some traditional applications, this is hidden under, let's say, advanced options or something like this. But in 7-zip, it's pretty simple. So click on the three dots here. Let's go to Drive D. We can select the program files, for instance, and then click on OK, and then click Install. And here 7-Zip now, it is installed on the D drive. Unlike the modern applications, the traditional applications, when you change their location, you need to recreate the shortcuts or to modify them. For instance, now for 7-Zip, I had a shortcut here on my taskbar, and this shortcut pointed to the drive C, and it will no longer work now. So you need to recreate it. So let me recreate it fast. I'm going to click on Unpin first. Then to recreate it simply, you need to find the program, right click on it, and then click on Pin to taskbar. And here's a new shortcut, and now it will work. And that was all. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.